In this first video, we're going to have a general overview of the tools that we're going to use to easily bring character animation into the Unreal Engine. We're going to be using Unreal Engine version 4.22. Now I'm going to be using multi-story dungeons, which is in the Unreal Marketplace. There are a lot of amazing environments in the Unreal Marketplace. Some of them are free, some of them cost a bit, but it's a good place to start if you're an aspiring filmmaker or game maker. Now, of course, you may want to make some tweaks to this in order to fit your specific needs and your storyline. Now that we have a set, let's take a look at characters. The reason that we use iClone and LiveLink is not only to ease the animation process, but it's also because so many things are automated. Your character's skeleton system is set up for you. You have all the morphs that you need for emotional states and dialogue. Almost all humanoid setups are completely supported, and this process is fully automated. Now, when you take a character and use LiveLink and send it to Unreal, it automatically sets it up with the best Unreal shaders to render human beings. Here you can see that I have the knight stored in the character section on the content tab, and I just double clicked it to load it into the scene so we can look at it again. Now, this knight was actually made in Character Creator 3. We're going to be having a totally separate tutorial to show you how to create him. Now we're going to be using this knight, and we're also going to be using the Rampage character, which is a UE4 Paragon character. And throughout the tutorials, I will be showing you how to convert the Paragon series of UE4 characters. Rampage is what we call a non-standard character. Now, iClone can handle this quite easily, and I'll be showing you how to do this in various videos in the future. Now, let's have a look at the Rampage character. I'm just going to drag and drop him in place, and you can see that he comes in just fine. And we're going to be using these characters for our example. And you can see here in the Marketplace, the Rampage character, and that he uses the standard UE4 skeleton. Now that we've had a look at the tools that we'll be using, let's move forward and start to make some animations.